Hello everyone, this is Craig Mills from Evolution Fitness and Athletics and today I'd like to discuss with you basal metabolic rate or for short BMR. The reason for this short video is the video that I posted yesterday in relation to body composition results when I showed you the Tanita readings I did kind of mention the BMR score but didn't actually explain what it was so I thought it would be a good idea just to give you an idea of what BMR is. So BMR is quite often um, confused with BMI, two totally separate things, you don't want to get them mixed up. BMI is a total waste of time, in my opinion of course. BMR is a very useful um, thing to know if you are tracking calories. Everybody knows that if you expend less calories than what you take in, then you will grow body fat you will get fatter and you will get heavier. If you expend more calories than you take in, then you will lose weight, you will lose body fat. So, what is basal metabolic rate? So this is basically a baseline figure, which will give you a kind of guideline as to how many calories that your body needs to take in to sustain the weight it is at without doing any you know, inactivity. So that's if you're sitting about the couch all day, as many people do, unfortunately. So that is the amount of calories you will need to take in to keep that body weight. Okay, so if you are going to burn fat, I'd usually recommend a probably calorie deficit of about 500 calories a day. That way, you're more or less guaranteed to burn about two pounds of body fat per week. Now, two pounds doesn't seem like a hell of a lot, but if you actually look, Oh, I almost dropped the camera. If you actually look at what how much uh, two pounds of fat is, is quite a lot. Uh, and the, you know that what you need to eat to put that two pounds on is also a lot. So never be disheartened if you only lose two pounds of fat, because it is, is quite a reasonable amount to lose. So what do you think if you're losing that every every week? then you know if you need to burn that fat then you are going in the right direction. Now there is a formula for calculating your BMR manually. I will just put that up on the screen for you just now. Now just bear in mind that if you have a Tanita scale or access to Tanita scales, you don't really need to know these calculations. Um, again, as I mentioned in, in the video, I think I maybe mentioned it during my Tanita video, is they can be quite lengthy to calculate and prone to error if you uh, calculate them incorrectly. Um, even if you don't have Tanita scales, if you just know your height, your weight, um, or your age, which you should know anyway, um, you know there is calculators online you can use. I mean I'm assuming if you're watching this video you will have access to either a smartphone or a laptop. So you know just look it up, just put a uh, BMR calculator in and then you just put in a couple of wee questions like it says it'll be probably be your age, your height and your current weight and activity levels and it will calculate your BMR for you. Okay so I hope this video has been useful. Uh, like I said if you want to lose body fat, you you know you need to be in a calorie deficit really of 500 uh, calories a day based on your BMR figure. So like I said, it is a very useful figure to know. Um, and it also fluctuates as well, you know your uh, BMR will go up or down depending on your activity level and your current um, you know your, your current kind of body composition so it is kind of worth um, just checking it every six to eight weeks or so obviously if you want to pack muscle on you know you don't want to be in a calorie deficit so what i would probably recommend is you know just depending how much muscle you want to put on and how you actually metabolize it you might want to increase your bmr by you know you could probably increase it by maybe four to five hundred calories but, you know, I would be reluctant to do that if you do tend to store body fat because it is really difficult to expend those calories. So you need to make sure if you are taking in more calories than your BMR that you are expending. You are working hard in the gym. 
So unless you were actually a professional athlete or a bodybuilder who can spend hours in the gym at a time, then I wouldn't recommend you increase your, your calorie intake. Now I have had athletes who, you know, did start uh, on uh, programmes with me, um, you know, in a kind of cutting phase, they wanted to cut calories, so I'd worked out their BMR, put them in a deficit of about 500 calories per day, and, you know, they've lost a lot of body fat. So what they've wanted to do then was build muscle, so I've never really increased the, their calorie intake based on their BMR. I've maybe told them to either stick to the kind of eating plan they're on, except just kind of change their macronutrients. So instead of having their, um, you know, their split of, say, 50% carbs, 20%, sorry, 50% carbs, 30% fats, and 20% uh, proteins, I've asked them just to increase their protein intake. Because obviously your proteins have all your nine essential amino, amino acids in them that your body needs to rebuild muscle uh, to help grow and repair. So obviously it will help if you take in more uh, protein compared to your good carbs and your good fats. You've got to remember they're good carbs and good fats. You don't want any of your saturated fats, etc. Or your sugars. And of course, if that's not working, if you are really kind of struggling for energy or if you are finding that you're not growing muscle, um, then you can maybe try uh, just taking in uh, what your BMR figure is in calories and also just working really hard at the gym. Uh, just see, you know, it should be kind of trial and error. Everybody's different. Um, everybody's work ethic is different. Not everybody can work as hard without a personal trainer as they do with a personal trainer. So it's really important just really to find out what works for you. Anyway, I hope that video has been useful. Again, just a short one, just to explain in layman's terms what BMR is, how it works, and just advise, you know, everybody to use it, because it is a very good, um, you know, a very good process to actually track your calories. Okay, so my name's been Craig Mills from Evolution Fitness and Athletics. Don't forget to like or dislike my video. You can share, you can subscribe. That would really help me out a lot. Please do. Or you can follow me on Instagram at evolution under slash fitness athletics, all one word. And also on Facebook at fit, sorry, evolution, fitness and athletics. Okay, thanks for watching and always much love.